Hi guys, Bleach here. It's been raining on and off here, so I'm trying to get some work done on the mowers. We got the simplicity of the uh, Massey, not the simplicity run where I want it. Simplicity will get dug out eventually. Um, we have uh, this carburetor. And I want to test the stamper common and leak gas directly into the manifold, and then it wouldn't run. But it did run, the stamper did move before it started leaking gas into the manifold, and the carbs started leaking all over. So over here, right now I'm trying to to uh, fix this car, possibly do a cleaning. I doubt I can get that jet out of there, so I'm just going to leave it. So, the only thing I'm going to do is address the float needle situation because it seems the float slot in needle is uh, letting in too much gas. A lot of carburetor cleaner, guys. Several carburetor cleaner cans all out. I used, uh, not recommended, but double D40. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, mess up the threads from getting tight. So, um, maybe dry it out with a little starter fluid. You're generally not supposed to clean up. Carburetors, clean, uh, carburetors with starter fluid, guys. It's not recommended. Don't do it. But, um, what I did here is I, uh, took the float needle out, tried to clean it. With some, some lubricant, squirted it through there. And, um, hopefully it works. It don't leak gas. But, um, But uh, I'm gonna see if it uh, leaks gas and out of the carburetor before I even uh, change the oil in this. This has got gas in the oil. I want to see if the carburetor leaks. I'm just gonna put a little bit of gas in there and that uh, white gas tank under it over that snapper frame, snapper carcass there. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll go from there and see if we can get this thing to stop leaking. I'll use this gas tank, guys, and I'll just test it to see if the carb leaks, just to see if it'll uh, let gas in it. I keep switching between gas lines on this one. I only got one good gas line left, but good news that it's bought two feet, so I'll have some gas line in to do some mowers. But yeah, let's see if it leaks. I just love it. I just love Michael Jackson, guys. I love this song. Alright, it's been 30 seconds. Guys, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I'm going to leave the gas turned onto it for like a day and I'll see if it leaks. But it doesn't appear to leak in and I just had it running. I just had it running. So I just got to put a fuel filter in there. It doesn't seem to be leaking. I think I fixed it. I got to be careful. I uh, put that spring there. I hooked it to the choke, and it's just going to, like, hook to somewhere. I guess, like, there, or something when I start it. The choke it, or I can hook it to somewhere. Like, right about there or something when I choke it. Sorry, you can't see, guys, but you get the point. I wired up a spring. Or actually, uh, did a spring. i got to be careful. Because it's grounding out to the wire there. For the spark plug. For some reason it's not in there. But I think it stopped leaking, so I'm gonna also put a gas filter in there and the video. I think it's set. I'm gonna um drain the oil out of it and probably no. Wanna just show you what it looks like, guys, and uh continue this video I guess. Guys, you see how quick that oil is flooding right out of that mower? The stamper Briggs engine, it should be uh, much slower than that, so there's definitely gas in there. That's the problem with these snappers. For some reason, these engines on these Briggs, maybe it's not such a problem. I've seen to fix it by uh, resetting the float needle and the float bulb, I guess. What the hell is it called? Float and the float needle, guys, and spray a little lubricant in there. Maybe that lubricant, uh, whatever was stuck in there, making it leak, I guess. Honestly, I think the float got stuck. See it? It's, really, it's my old turkey pan, guys. You remember the turkeys used to make in this pan? Well, it got to the point where we got beyond cleaning the turkey pan, so it's now my new oil pan. Mind you, I got oil pans in here somewhere. I'm just going to let that drain, and we'll uh, come back. Yep. See how, see how uh, not thick it is? Like, uh, how do I explain it? It's very thin, so there's a uh, gas in there, guys. 
I'm back in guys, it started to rain really bad. Well, look, now we got a freaking rainbow. Look, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. I'm kidding, it's a rainbow. But isn't it pretty cool guys? Let's look at it. That's awesome. I'm surprised my camera can pick that up. I'm so happy. Oh, we'll see you in the next segment guys where we put oil on it, see how it runs. I'll have to finish, well, it's, it's uh, Tuesday today, I'll probably finish it Wednesday. Um, take care, it's, I think it's the 27th, guys, of uh, June, take care.